some dot okay on the branches some some random pink color dot yeah to show some little uh, flower bud that is yet to bloom okay so okay and you can also add a black color dots on the branches so that the branches uh it looks a little bit more rough okay yeah, some black dots you that that few black dots and pink dots actually that brings out your uh work okay so I have some black dots here um so it just like almost like random black dots okay so when you're done next one we're going to do is guys i'm going to pick white color okay white color Pfizer. okay so this is white color all right so this is some white color and the white color is going to be the center of the flower okay white color Right. And people may ask, like, the lantern paper is white. Why must I add white? Um, it's a different kind of white. The lantern paper, white, and your white paint, uh, you can see that actually that you, it's, it's very different. It's a lot more whiter. Okay, so I'm going to add white to the center. And how much you're going to do it, you can do as many as possible. All right. So I'm going to continue doing this, okay, uh, on, yeah, on this flower. I'm going to add, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to paint this later on. And then I'm going to write Zong um, Chu Quila, okay, over here, which is this one. The four Chinese characters. Okay, if you want, you can also write your, Chinese, your, your name. You want to write that this is actually created by you, the art pieces. So meanwhile, while I'm, while I'm trying to create, I'm trying to finish up this work so that you can see that end of the day the picture uh i'll pass the next drawing uh, design sample to uh we can, we can demonstrate to you so you're going to narrate it for that for vivian sorry narrate it for vivian ah uh, yes, yes okay and so we just move the yeah. camera a little bit closer yeah yeah so you can expect see much better yeah Wow, there's so many of the flowers there. Looks beautiful. So how do we do it? Okay, so uh, what we're going to do right now, she's going to draw the, uh, the leaves on top here. You can see actually she's going to use just only one green. Uh, she actually used green and a blue with a bit of blue. So we have a mixture. Some of them is green plus blue. Some of them is uh, green and yellow. All right, so that, uh, you may want to demonstrate how you can do it. Okay. Which color and the color that you're using, the brush? Green. Okay, let's show them the green. All right, so, so you may go and dip a brush into the green. And a little bit of blue. So the brush is stained with uh, this green and this blue here. Yeah. Yeah, the, green and the, blue. Right. The, green, the green will appear like no color. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's because of the background. Actually, this is green in color. Uh, this is blue. So she's going to use green and blue. All right. Just in case you're wondering, uh, there's no green here. Uh, that's because of the background. So that's a green, that's a blue here. All right. 
So she stained her, her pointer brush. Okay, this was a pointer brush with the green and the blue. Okay. And this is what happened. So she can draw the the branch, which is very thin. So you don't press too hard. If you press too hard, the line will become very thick. And next, you should go to paint the stroke. Uh, think of the stroke that she's using. So what she do is she start off with the tip, and then she press down and she lift up at the end, so that the end will also be sharp. Maybe even you use more blue so that they can see. It's not uh, because of the green background and green color, uh, they can't see anything come up. Yeah, like hitting, using invisible paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you need to use another color, blue color. So probably you use more blue than the green, yeah, so that they can see your stroke, yeah. Or you can change to another red color. Now she just demonstrate to you. The stroke. Okay. You start off with the tip, press down, and you lift up again. Right? So, so basically, what she do, uh, I'm just show you right here. Just do our start off with the tip here. You press and then you leave up. Okay, so you have a wow, very beautiful leaf. Have a leaf actually. Can show it one more time? And yeah. Do it yeah. one more time, please. One time? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm using blue color because. So just take a look and watch out how this leaf is being formed, okay? Then you can get a very beautiful leaf. So you start off with the tip, okay? Can you see? And then I press it down. I press it down. And then I lift up gently. And at the end, I have a pointer tip. Yeah. So start off with a pointer tip and end with a pointer tip. So when you press down, you lift up gently, you have a point of tip. Just one more time. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh just in case uh Okay, so she's going to continue with uh, the leaf on top and the bottom. So with it, now you want to demonstrate to them how you paint the flower at the center. So for those who probably might have, just in case you missed this, so she had actually painted the top uh, green leaf. You can see the, the green leaf, right? It looks like sparkle, right? The leaf. Okay, the green leaf, okay, the top and the bottom here, you can see. Right, probably on your screen you see something like uh some spectacular color. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. orange and the silver color. Yeah, it yeah. looks so beautiful too. But it's like a changing of the color. Sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's green, sometimes it's orange, and sometimes it's silver. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that, that's because of the green green background that we have. All right. Yeah. So that's. But it. just remember, you no, know, the different strokes that we have. You'll be able to do well, okay? Right. And then the center is where she painted the flower here. So the two colors that she's using is actually red and pink. All right. So she's going to demonstrate to you how she can paint it. So same thing, she's going to use a flat brush. Yeah, that's the flat brush. Yeah. So it's going to be a fine stroke, same thing.
¿Quién contigo, Samu? So it's very much that by the flower I drew earlier, right, just that both of us, we have uh, two different uh, designs. So the flower has five petals, just like the five corner of the star you can find on Singapore flag. But we just celebrated our national day. And we think we're going to use white for the center or it's going to be a different color? I'll be using white and yellow. White and yellow, okay. So your white and yellow is a mixture of white and yellow or it's just yellow uh, on one of the flower and then white on another flower? Mm, mixture. Oh, mixture. mixture. Maybe I want to show how you do a mixture of color using the palette that you have. So remember, you need to prepare a container to contain some water. So when you check change from one color to another color, you need to brush and wash away the color first, okay? Okay, so just how we can just use um, white color to uh, put a center of the red flower. And now she use a pointed brush, all right? Uh, to Maybe yeah, I, I should uh, highlight to the uh, the color pattern how you change the color. You want to uh sorry over the, the color area? Yeah. Okay, yellow color. Yeah. How do you mix it? So so basically what she did is actually she painted white on the flower just now earlier using the flat brush, then she used the pointer brush uh, to dip on the yellow. Yeah. yeah, you don't mind just okay. Maybe we we'll demonstrate one more. One more. Time. Yeah, okay. So, first, she's going to use the flat brush, she's going to dip into the white paint. Yeah, so this yeah. Is the white paint. yeah, just uh, dip into the white paint. Yeah, so you're tapping on it, right? You're not really painting uh, on this thing, and next, she's going to use. The pointer brush and yellow, yellow color. Yeah, so this is the painted brush on the yellow color. Mm, let me just adjust a little bit so they can see better. Uh, so it's tapping on it, okay? Yeah, tapping on it. Okay, so she's going to show one more time. The white first using the flat brush followed by the yellow on the pointed brush. Yeah. So you can see it's not just uh, brushing on it, but it's tapping on it. Yeah. So we take a closer look and see what is the real outcome. Yeah. Let me just uh, put it closer and then you can focus a little bit. So the yellow and the white looks like the um, pollen green right? on the uh, anthea of the flower. Yeah, that is actually very, very detailed. <laughs> okay. okay. So same thing, Vivian is going to continue with uh, work and uh, so uh, then after she's going to show you the end result. So meanwhile, for those who are paint, painting the uh, sakura flower here, uh, I'm going to continue to paint uh, the other side. Okay, I'm going to do a demonstration. For, for those who would like to paint the sakura flower, you can uh, look at the demonstration one more time. Uh, I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to use the brown color. Actually, uh, I took a quite general uh, scoop of the brown. Okay, and uh, we'll start from the top. All right, and I can. All right, so right now. Okay, drag. So basically, drag. Okay. 
scan, I drag my brush. Right, so I have, and one you can hold your brush this way, which is nice, it's a lot easier. So I might drag, I might have a, a broken line here, so yeah. And then I know with a thin, thin, uh, I use the edge of the brush to draw. One and another one here. Okay. And next is I'm going to use black color to put in the shadow on the branches. Okay. So this is a, so I have actually made the whole painting simple, easy, and uh, it looks nice when you complete that here. So it's nothing too difficult. So I'm going to add the black, okay, so just in case you're wondering what color I'm using, I'm using the black color to add on as a shadow under the brush. Right. At the top here of the branches, usually I have it big. Yeah, really, really big. At the end, and when it comes to the end, it's locked in. Right. And next is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use... Uh, I'm not going to use pink, I will change color. Uh, for those who like, you find that, um, can I use any other color other than pink? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, how about can I use purple? If you want to uh, be creative, uh, there's no right or wrong. Of course, in the, on the, in the natural, you usually you see the flower is pink or red. You, know? uh, you don't have a purple color for a flower. Right? So same thing, five strokes here. Yeah? Uh, one. Two, three, four, five. So, now one more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. While that's very near to the bunch, you sometimes can have like a three, three petal stroke. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Right. And then? I hope everybody enjoy your painting right now. That look beautiful. Enjoy the process. Uh, we are we are actually um, encourage people to actually enjoy your whole painting process and to uh, try to create something more perfect. Yeah. So we're not looking for something that's very, very perfect, but uh, I want you all of you to enjoy the whole painting process. Yeah, see there's a lot of them attract doing painting slowly. Yeah. Of course, you're not restricted to uh, this uh, design. You can always uh, uh, create some other design with uh, the lantern, the spell lantern that you have. Wow. <laughs> the whole family is drawing it. Wow, it looks so good. So remember, uh, you're not actually limited to drawing this, okay? Try to be uh, more creative because uh, you will actually have a chance to win some prizes if you have a very creative and very nice lantern that is submit to us, okay? We'll be picking up uh, five, right? Uh, five prizes for our best lantern. Yeah. So if you draw nicely, uh, paint it very beautifully, 
you might have the chance to walk away this. Okay, what we're going to do is like we're going to choose around 10 lanterns uh, for us to do a poll during the Zoom session next week. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the samples uh, that we have done by some of our senior and some of our, our children that they have passed it to us. So go back to Kelvin again. Uh, wow, Kelvin got to finish wow. soon. Prizes. <laughs> prizes. Oh, not for you, Kelvin. Uh, oh. No matter how beautiful you draw, you know prizes for you. <laughs> Okay, Kelvin is the artist that helped us uh, sort of like create the ideas for our national day. So you go to the Vista Park, right? You'll see a lot of this uh, giant display uh, in the park itself. So uh, Kelvin actually helped to sort of like uh, formulate some of the ideas, no? So uh, then after that, uh, some of our residents come in to do painting and then add in more stuff to make it really beautiful for our national day. So if you have time, you can go to the Vista Park, take a look again. They are really, very beautiful. Okay. Uh, and I think some of them are in fact uh, erected in this uh, CC as well. Yeah. So if you have not seen it, you can actually go over and take a look. Yeah. If you're lucky, you can catch me later on. I'll be uh, doing some touch up work at the uh, park. Oh, okay. You're going to touch up again in the park? Uh, yes. Okay. So you can also see uh, one of the bot done by uh, Mr. Vikram. It's right in front of the park itself. Yeah. So you have some uh, orchid, no, that's created over there. Very beautiful. You can go there and take some picture. Yeah. I saw some Facebook posting, you know, they go over, you no, know, go and take pictures of what they have created. And they really uh, are proud of it and enjoyed uh, the whole uh, session of painting. Okay, let's see what Kelvin is doing right now. Oh, Kelvin, you are doing two different color. One is red and the other side is uh, using the pink. The pink Yes, talking about orchid, you can actually also paint the orchid flower here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe this one, uh, you want to make a special one with orchid as well, see uh, how the method of uh, painting an orchid later on. Okay, uh, maybe I'll leave, I, sh I should leave that to uh, Vivian. Because, oh, uh, okay. The plank art, the orchid actually is painted by her. Oh, okay. So we'll do, we'll do go catch, uh, the oh, I compliment the wrong person. Uh. Uh, yeah, what like that? You should have tell me, then I compliment you again. Ah, yeah. That's why I, I give credit uh, when credit is due to even here. Yeah, I think you need to turn over so that the uh, audience can see what you have done. Uh, just shift a little bit. Yeah, shift a little bit. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, the other side. Yeah. Okay, so this is the red. Wow. Look beautiful. That's cool. And the other side is the pink. Oh, okay. So you can actually add more. You can add more. Hmm. Isn't it nice that uh, you take a Saturday to uh, do some art at home? Uh,
again. So beside that, I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that you'll be getting uh, when you do your submission for your moon, uh, for your this uh, lantern, okay? You need to put your uh, the camera, no, some problem. Okay, so I'm going to show you one of the LED lights uh, balloons. Ah, cannot see. <laughs> so when you expect submit your lantern, you will collect your goodie bag as well. So we'll be giving away two of this uh, lantern where you can actually use it for your Zoom session as well as like during the mid-autumn festival, no? you can parade a bit, no? go out and people carry lantern, you carry balloons, okay? So this uh, LED one is uh, very beautiful, okay? So next, inside the bag itself, you also have a snack pack, okay? Where's a snack pack? Yeah, I've been oh, I've been got a snack pack. So inside there's some tidbits for you to munch uh, during the uh, session itself. Okay, and then oh okay, there's some chocolate sticks as well. And some more, what do we have? Uh, the important thing will be the moon cake. So when you try to receive the moon cake, don't eat first lah. We will uh, we'll come together and eat together. Okay, during the the event itself. Okay, so we're gonna pass you uh, two of this uh, very beautiful moon cake. They are all low sugar, okay? Uh, one is lotus, the black color one you see is uh, sesame seed, charcoal sesame seed, okay? So they are all low sugar. So when you give to you, don't eat first, lah, okay? Join us together uh, in the session itself. We'll eat it together, okay? So beside the mooncake, we also give you a tea ball. What is tea ball? Okay, so this is actually fact a uh, tangerine. <laughs> no, 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 it's like that. <laughs> So this is a, a tangerine uh, tea itself, okay? So what they did is they have a tangerine, they cut open the top, dry it, and then they put tea leaf inside. So this is able for you to make uh, one whole pot for your whole family. Yeah, so don't drink for yourself, share with your family, eat the mooncake together, okay? Next Saturday, enjoy the events and games, lucky draw, entertainment that I'm going to uh, present to you, okay? What else inside the bag? Nothing else. Okay, empty. Okay. <laughs> plus, plus the empty paper bag. Ah, oh, the empty paper bag. Oh, <laughs> okay. Nice so color. it's a very nice uh, paper bag. Yeah. So when do you expect submit all this thing? Okay. You are supposed to submit by, okay. The latest that you can submit is on the Saturday uh, five, by 5 p.m. because we need some time to look at all the lanterns and then we also need to hang the lanterns up, okay? We'll do a lighting uh, of all the lanterns that we collected, okay? Uh, we're not able to put outside, so we're going to actually light up in the office itself, in our RN, okay? And uh, the earlier date that you can come in, because it's like we are trying to prepare this balloon that you see just now, Okay, so the balloon is not so easy to do. Uh, initially, when you started the balloon, right, it took around 30 minutes for us to construct one balloon. So uh, there's quite a bit of uh, work to do for the balloon itself. So we can let you submit uh, earlier on the Thursday. Okay, Thursday uh, evening after your work, you can come over to our office, look for Kevin. Okay, he can actually fact uh, collect the lanterns from you. So uh, he will give you back uh, the goodie bag that just now we mentioned, okay, with the balloon. So uh, the balloon also uh, sometimes, uh, if it's not thought tight properly, right, it might expect to be deflated. So we don't want to give you too early. So the balloon won't be deflated um, when it uh, meet to the uh, really mid-autumn festival. So the actual day for the mid-autumn festival will be on the Tuesday itself. So we're going to celebrate uh, slightly earlier. Okay, so Gavin, uh, not Gavin, Kelvin. <laughs> Always call Gavin, Gavin too much. Now I also uh, lost, okay. So how is the lantern painting? Yeah, we're almost finishing soon. Oh, so okay. I do some... Uh... Finishing touch by adding a little bit of uh, blue, uh, sorry, the, yet, the red dots uh, here and there. Okay, 
finishing touch. Okay. So anyone, you have any uh, question for Kelvin on how to do some of the painting stroke? Uh, if you want, you can raise up your hand, uh, turn on your mic and ask your question. Okay. If Kevin is able to answer, he will try to answer for you. Okay. If you are too shy, you can also type your question in the chat box. Okay. So that, uh, oh, I saw somebody uh, type in change. Change what? <laughs> How much he charged for helping to paint? Wow. This one, uh. This one secret, lah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> secret. <laughs> me after the session. Okay, so you can uh, come to me, lah. I, I TM, I, I agent, I, I agent for Calvin, <laughs> so I can earn some commission. Uh, no, la, no. La. <laughs> yes, uh, you can actually private uh, Calvin uh, later on. Okay, you want his contact? You can come to me. I, I pass you the contact if you want to uh, have a private lesson uh, with uh, Calvin. Okay. Another question. Oh, draw Chang Er. Oh, somebody want to draw Chang Er. How to draw Chang Er? Anyone can demonstrate? <laughs> Both of you? I, I, I believe we don't have much time with that. Uh, so, uh, okay, okay. We have like, yeah. Yeah, we don't really have much time left at this point of time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, currently, we are doing all more of the basic stroke. Okay. So try out yourself. Yeah. So. If you want to learn more, I think you need to go to Kelvin's class already. <laughs> right? You're welcome. <laughs> yes, we, we, we teach fine art to children and adults. Yeah. yeah, maybe next time you want to uh, conduct some class over here. <laughs> Open up some uh, class in our CC or RC, no? Sure. I think uh, more and more people uh, would like to expect uh, take up drawing. Yeah. It helps you to release stress. Yeah. Or the stroke that you put in, you know, it helps to release stress. Anyone want to show us the work uh, for the last past uh, 45 minutes now that we're done? Wow. This is beautiful. Wow. Nice. Good. Hmm. Anyone else like to show some of your work that you have done? Uh, Kelvin, don't mind, uh, take a look uh, uh, at some of the work that's done. Yeah. Mm, maybe you can attract help to advise a little bit. Wow. What is that? Uh, yellow. Okay. Are you able to see the screen? Uh, no, no. You can't see? Come on down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Some of them are showing. Wow, this is cute. You didn't say which one is cute? The one, yellow one? Yeah, yellow. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, they see the, well, the exact one, exactly at what you are uh, painting. Tasha? Yeah, Tasha. That is uh, oh, Sarah. Vivian, Sarah. Vivian Tan. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. Wow. <laughs> Whose hand is that? Is that Vivian Tan? <laughs> <laughs> wow, so cute. All right. So remember, you have four lanterns, right? If the rest of the family member is not drawing, make sure you go and draw it, okay? And submit your, your lantern to us, okay? So remember, you have your lucky draw ticket, right? With you when you try to buy it. When you submit your lantern, make sure you put the number on the lantern so that uh, we can... Uh, know who the lantern belongs to. So when we get to give the prize, no, we can uh, call you up to let you know that you won it. Or on the screen, uh, you saw your lantern got the first prize. Make sure you come down and tell Gavin, okay? Gavin will give you the prize. Wow, so Mr. Vikram one also very beautiful. <laughs> wow. Wow, Vikram. see, it looks so nice. I want to say, um, both my daughter and I don't go for arts classes, so everything we've learned is at this session. <laughs> wow, okay. That's very good already. <laughs> Ever it's since last yeah, you, you, I, I can see that you make uh, much uh, improvement. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> On the National Day one. <laughs> That's cool. Wow, everyone has yeah, so beautiful drawing. 
So I can see Seraphine's uh, painting of the um, same as what I, I, I did. Very nice. And I can see uh, Sing Tong. Sing Tong. Sing Tong. Mm. Yeah. She's uh, very focused. <laughs> very focused in her painting. Very focused. Very nice. Very good. And uh, what else here? See, a lot of you did not turn on your video. Is it all right? You turn on your video and let us see how your uh, work are. And maybe we can actually take a group photo. Uh, and okay. So then I think you have your virtual background turned on. So it's like it's very difficult to focus. <laughs> can see a very blur color, but not the lanterns. <laughs> I can see Faith is painting something different. Uh, you got the background. Faith, your background is on, so that's why it's like uh, we can't see your lantern clear, clearly. Panda, okay. That's Jia Jia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very creative for Faith. And uh. Yeah. Uh, Sarah. Sarah <laughs> yes, yes, we're calling you. Yes. <laughs> uh, can you show us your beautiful work? It's like so far away. You can uh, we try oh. to make up your beautiful work. Yeah. Oh, the boy is so cute. <laughs> wow. And uh, what she painted? Very colorful. What was that? Sarah is a, is a teacher herself. Some MP who want to show this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And, and Sarah, what do you, what, what do you paint? Oh, the flower. Just now you taught her how to do flower, right? Yeah. She had to pack, uh, do the flower. Ooh, wow. Very beautiful flower. Wow. Is that Su Xian? Su Xian. Su Xian. You can see Su Xian is uh, very focused. Yeah. 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 It's like, tell me, don't distract me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once you attract focus on your drawing, right, it helps you to release stress, especially this period of time. Yeah. She's like uh, so focused that uh, my, my talking doesn't distract her at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, everyone uh, done a good job. Zixuan, very nice. Yeah, Zixuan, yeah, uh, flower is nice. very good. Zixuan, Zixuan. Zixuan trying, uh, trying to paint what uh, Vivian had demonstrated earlier. Half, half, no. Uh, I think one side okay. she's uh, painting what you taught. Another side uh, she's uh, painting uh, Vivian taught uh, teaching. Right, so it's combining <laughs> best of both. Two work. in one, that's good. Right, amazing, both of you, well done. Good job. All right. Oh, wow. Please that on top. Faith. Oh, okay, Faith again. <laughs> and then we have... Uh... Oops. Oh. The run, the the run, the run. Uh, the run okay. drop the lantern. I, I hope the lantern is still doing good. <laughs> and okay, Liki, no problem. I know you can paint very well. I believe you do a good job. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, 
嫦娥，嫦娥，哇 ，everyone ask for 嫦娥。哦，是。谢谢。谢谢。Taylor， Taylor is asking for what number? Ah,、uh, so if you have the ticket with you, ah,、uh, that is a lucky draw number. So we sort of like tie your name to the lucky draw number. So, uh, you just need to put that number on your lantern when you submit your lantern to us. Okay, so we'll recognize uh that lantern as yours when you got the. If you are one of the top prize winner, we will contact you through the number. Okay. And now we like your painting. Um,、uh, the rabbit, very cute, very nice. Yeah, Ada. Yes, we just mention your name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so shy. She hides behind her lantern. <laughs> Very nice, Ada.、So mm -hmm. Okay, I can see the mom is、uh, also painting together with Ada.、Mm -hmm. Nice teamwork. Wow. Nice work. Oh, Mr. Vikram, one also looks so beautiful. You see exactly what you are drawing and what you are teaching. Wow, so beautiful! Purple flower. Purple flower. Okay, that's the okay, no.、Oh, <laughs> Remember okay, the blank、yeah. that you have. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Wow, nice. I like your purple flower. <laughs> I I dare not try to draw purple flower here because people might be asking me, does a sakura has is it purple in color? If I get more bold than me, <laughs> <laughs> that one is okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. I shall draw you an orchid and give it to you. Wow, Ada one is drawing a rabbit. No,、oh, very nice. If for those have finished, um, we have uh probably another few more minutes. So what you can do is change. You can actually um sign your name on the lantern. You can write uh some Chinese words, uh like Dong Chu Kuai Le, uh yeah, okay. If you if you can't sign or write anything, you can give a thumbprint. <laughs> okay, so I will write Tong Chiu Pai Le over here. Okay, how do you write Tong Chiu Pai Le? Ah,、uh, I don't understand because the、uh, the surface is a little bit ah、um, not flat, so it's quite difficult to to write nicely. Ah,、uh, yeah. Oh, finish writing very nice.、Huh? Hey, never wrong me. Oh yeah, did. What is it? I did Don't you? Why? So they are writing it another time. Oh, on the other side. Okay. Tong Chiu Kuai Le means mid or a、uh, happy mid autumn day. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very good. So we have come to the end of this workshop. So remember, you can still continue. Okay. So you, we have given you four lanterns. Okay. 
keep two for yourself. Bring two down for the competition. Okay, and wish all of you uh, good luck. Okay, continue drawing. And I will, we will see you next week, okay? Okay, thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We hope to see you bye next bye. Year again. Next week, huh? Yeah, see you next week. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I'm so impressed by all your work. It's really beautiful. So just continue, well. Huh? Show us how to draw the leaf again. Uh, Seraphine asked a question. I can't really you want to show how to, to draw, show the, leaf. How to draw the, leaf. the leaf one more time. The leaf, yeah. you mean uh, this one? Uh, yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. One last one, yeah. and then we will call it a day. Yeah, on the tissue itself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, closer for that. So you can use uh, blue uh, for therapy. Yeah. Okay, just take a look again. So just watch the stroke. So uh, we start off with the tip of the brush. Press down the brush and then we just tip up the chair. So we will have both ends of the tip. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Color gets lighter as it goes along. Eh? <laughs> this one is because uh, of our, our backdrop there, so yeah, it changes a bit of the lighting kind of thing. Yeah, it changes. Okay. Yeah, so don't worry. Uh, it's not about the colors, but it's about the stroke that you're going to use. So, uh, Kevin is going to show you on a tissue paper how this is oh. being done. So you put a tip first. Press harder at the middle, and then you lift it up. 
Okay, so that will be our very last stroke. And okay. we need to call this a day. Okay, one more time. Okay, right, and then go. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dora.